on the Mississippi River at Monticello. The day begins with promise. You see it coming in now? The promise that comes with the morning. Is that guy feeding them? And another maid for life. I didn't know there's going to be this many. Like the other bird watchers arriving at Swan Park, mm. we too had to keep our distance. Trumpeter swans don't always take well to humans. You can tell her the top one's down there. Mm -hmm. But they'll make an exception for a man who has a week's worth of bird seed delivered. Like this. Yeah. Takes a lot of corn. Jim Lawrence is the man who made the promise that has kept these trumpeter swans well fed for the past five winters. Not a promise to the birds, but to the woman who cared for them for the 25 previous years. All the animals loved her and she loved them. It was Sheila Lawrence who started feeding trumpeter swans behind her river home, just as the birds, once hunted out of their Minnesota existence, were beginning to make their comeback. She's a feeder. She fed Orioles, she fed bluebirds, she fed, if, she, if it walked, crawled, or slithered, she fed it. One look at those seven foot wingspans carrying those 30 pound bodies, and it's not hard to see how a feeder could fall for the 747s of the waterfall world. She'd be out here all day from dark to dark. Until the day she wasn't. Cancer, yeah. Jim lost his wife eight months after her diagnosis, but not before she asked him, will you feed my swans? And he promised. No question in my mind that I was going to feed them. 38 buckets and 1,200 pounds he'll feed them just today. Less doting, less talking, he'll tell you, than Sheila would like. But that doesn't account for the speaking Jim does with his heart. My passion is to make sure her legacy continues. Promise kept. She's looking down on him, saying, you're doing a good job. Precious is the swan song that keeps on going. Boyd Hubert, Carol Evan News, Monticello.